Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Melissa. Today I'm bringing you guys a pick of what I would suggest you picking up from Sephora since that Sephora VIB sale is going on. It starts today, April 17th. So Sephora is having their sale and Rouge members get 20% off starting today, um, the 17th. VIB members, which is me, is 15% off starting on the 21st. And then the insiders are 10% off starting on the 23rd. So I already know what I'm getting. We will talk about that later today. But I want to show you some products that I feel like if you want to get something right now, whether you are VIB or Rouge or Insider, um, 10% off is something, okay? It's at, it's at least something. 15% off, it's at least something. Now, I was very, very close. I was $154 away last year from being from being VIB Rouge, you know, Sephora Rouge, but I didn't use $154, so I'm not Rouge member. So that's a lot of money, okay? Like, that's a lot. When I found out how much I had to spend a year to be a rouge i was just like but i also was shocked when i was like damn girl you're only 154 away like wow you need to like reel it back in and stop for a second you know um i did though become diamond at ulta that's still a lot of money to become diamond so anyways i want to show you guys the products that i highly recommend if you guys can get these for 15 percent off 10 percent off 20 percent off um, comment down below what status you are at Sephora. I mean, I've always been VIB and that's like, you know, that's where I stay. I've never been Rouge. I feel like only Rouge members are, you know, people that are highly in this YouTube community, the beauty influencers. I feel like only they can be Rouge because I'm like, I ain't spending that much money on makeup. Like, I love makeup. Don't get me wrong. I could spend that much money on makeup, but... I also think about it like, damn, like, did I really just spend that much on makeup? But it makes you feel, like, it doesn't make you feel, oh, hey, yes, it makes you feel pretty, but it, it's an art form. That's how I like it to take it, because I love transforming. I like, I like, I like the process of it. Does anybody else? Is it just me? Like, I like being able to just sit down and just do your makeup, and it's like, your mind is cleared of everything going on. So, I don't know. That's just how I see it. So it's also fun to like experiment with colors and stuff. So anyways, if you guys want to know what I highly suggest that you guys go ahead out and get yourselves, um, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with my favorite foundation, I just can't put it down. And if you guys can get it for 10% off, you need to, which is the Born This Way from Too Faced. This is and my jam, I can't stop using this. I'm going to be honest. I can't stop using this. I really love the finish that it gives me. Now, this is a medium to full coverage foundation. I tend to just leave it at medium. But it is beautiful. It's like a skin-like finish. It's not matte. It's not dewy. It's like right in the middle. It's like a satin nice finish. It's beautiful. I really love it. I can't stop using it. It is technically my go-to foundation if i'm going to go somewhere i know i mean i don't go nowhere right now because who's going anywhere right now but i know that if i'm going to take pictures for instagram let's say i want my foundation and my face to look flawless this is the foundation that i'm going to be using if i'm going to an event like i have weddings in october and in november i think um i'm going to be wearing this foundation because i know this foundation is like looks beautiful in pictures it looks beautiful in person and it's last it lasts a long time on your face it doesn't like wear out it doesn't wear off in like weird places it just really looks beautiful i don't get oily uh but i'm not an oily person so i can't really comment too much about that but it doesn't um accentuate my dryness which are technically my temples and around all over my face i'm dry i'm just a dry person but this one just looks so beautiful on the skin i Highly recommend you guys pick this up. Alongside of that is the concealer, the Born This Way concealer. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer. I love it. I uh, use these both in the same shade because I don't like that um, highlighted under eye 
situation. I just like it to look all uniform. If I'm going to do some highlighting under eyes, um, I have a product that I'll mention later on in this video that I, uh, I would use to do that um, on top of this concealer. So yeah, the Born This Way, beautiful, beautiful. Now I have two uh, glowing products that I'm obsessed with. The first one I have to mention is the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I have two shades. I have this one and a different one. This one's in four and then I have the number three. This is amazing. This is beautiful. You can wear it on top of makeup, under makeup, just to go out. Like, put this on your face just for a glowy look and that's all you need and you will look so glowy. This is not shimmery, okay? Don't think that it's going to be shimmer. It's not, which is why I can wear it with no foundation. Um, and put this on top, like just put this on my face over a moisturizer and it looks beautiful. So I really highly recommend this one. I know Charlotte Tilbury is super expensive. So that's what I'm saying right now that this sale is up. This is the time to um, get this if you are wanting to try something like this. This is just a beautiful, beautiful um, product and it's not oily. It's not something like that. It just makes you look glowy. So I'm pretty sure people with oily skin can really play this off because it's just going to give you that nice, healthy glow um, finish to your skin. And then another glowy product is the NARS. This is a tinted, tinted glow booster. Recently picked this up a couple of months, like a month or two ago. And I love it. Now, this one looks like it could be like a foundation, right? It's not. It's very sheer. It just gives you a nice glow. So kind of similar to this, but this is more intense. This is more of a glow, okay? This can be used as a highlighter on top of foundation. This one is good for mixing with the foundation that you want to look more glowy, more, you know, yeah, more glowy, not dewy, just glowy. Um, I use it as a primer sometimes, or sometimes I do mix it in with my foundation. I really do like this. And they do have different shades. I have the shade medium. So I really do highly recommend this one. Now a primer that you guys need and I'm going to repurchase. This for sure is a going to be repurchased. Our two primers right here and they're completely empty. They're empties. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I have the crystallized primerizer. So it's like a different one. I don't like it as much as just the original. This one is hands down such a beautiful, great um, primer, especially for dry skin people like this just gives you a nice, healthy, uh, dewy bounciness to your skin that us dry people need because our skin is just so dry. So like the desert, it's annoying. Um, and this one just does it for me so well. Um, I haven't been using it because it's empty, <sighs> but I need it in my life. Um, this will be a repurchase once the sale me starts which is the 21st and then of course the banana banana bright face primer from Ole Henriksen this is a little expensive but this is the perfect time to get it during the sale because this is amazing these two together which is what I would do would leave my skin looking oh my god so plump so juicy so beautiful and um I used it for this um, makeup that I did today and I literally had to pump the bitty 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 last that was inside here because it was basically empty there's 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 nothing there's nothing coming out of this so I do love this and I will be repurchasing this it just brightens up your face as well as gives you a nice healthy glow which is what I love and you could even use this by itself you don't even have to wear foundation if you don't want to which is why i like it as well it just gives you your skin a nice healthy glow talking about healthy glow i you guys know i'm dry skin it is what it is so you guys know that this product is a product that i use throughout my videos because it just has to be on my face if i'm gonna put foundation and on my face if i'm not gonna put foundation so i'm talking about the summer fridays jet lag mask this is a must. I still have some, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this. But if I was uh, basically completely out, I would be purchasing this one again. This is just such a good, good moisturizer. I use it as a moisturizer. Um, 
like before I do my makeup, but I also use it at night. I will put it all over my face, go to sleep, wake up in the morning with beautiful skin, nice juicy skin. Um, I've seen a lot of people that have oily skin use it. So if you have oily skin, try it out. I hear they still like it. So, um, it, it could be a win for oily skin people. So I know for dry skin, it is amazing. Okay, one last foundation that I do have that I forgot to mention is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This is also amazing. I use this in the summer in a hot humid kind of climate and it was beautiful um this is the more hydrating one so if you're into more matte foundations this is probably not it for you this does not make me look cakey at all and it is a, like a nice medium to full coverage foundation so you can build it up if you want to i personally don't build up any of my foundations i just really like a natural look like just one layer and that's enough like i ain't trying to be I'm not trying to be all cakey, okay? I'm sorry. It's just not my thing, like, to put too much layers of foundation on. So, um, if anything, I can just use a concealer to conceal those imperfections. But, yeah, I really do love this, um, this foundation. I prefer it over her original. This one is really good. It just makes your skin look nice and healthy. A lot of these products, honestly, is going to be about healthy, glowy skin. Because I'm dry, Okay. So I really highly recommend you guys pick this up during the sale. Now, this next product. Now, let me tell you, I hate the packaging. It's horrible. It is horrible. But the product inside is me worth getting it if I run out of it, is what I'm saying. So I'm talking about the concealers from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I have two shades. And I do love them. I love the formula. I love how it looks. It's just beautiful. Like she knows how to make products that make your skin look natural, but like on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Like model, like if I was like Photoshopped or something, you know, but I'm not. Um, she knows how to make her products. Honestly, it's she, she has a gift. So the product itself is amazing. I just hate the packaging. It's just a little annoying. But personally, if you're looking for a good concealer, this has a good coverage, a good finish. If you are more on the oily side, you might want to set this. Um, I don't set my concealers. I don't set my foundations. That's just personally me. But these are amazing concealers. And I do suggest you guys pick these up if you want to try them. Now, I'm going to tell you guys about that uh, concealer that I use to brighten if I do want a more brighter, brighter under eye area. And it's the Becca. This is the Becca Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. So sometimes I'll be like, you know what? Yeah, you know, a little bit of brightening under the eyes. I need it, you know. I look dead or something. I look a little bit too dark under there. I will apply this on top of any concealer that I've already used. Just a little bit. And this will brighten it so much. Not like a dramatic, like, oh my god, what the hell flashback status but it just gives you a nice um highlighted effect but it's also not drying so you might need to set this but i don't like i said i don't set anything but this one just leaves you looking so natural so i could even use this without any foundation and then just put it underneath my eyes um, the bottom part of my eye to look more awake if I'm running errands or something like that just to look more awake This does that I really do really like this product This concealer I like it, but only I know it's weird. I really love this concealer. This is a NARS uh, The NARS soft matte complete concealer. I love this concealer to carve out my eyebrows and to set my eyelids at times like I'll do it as a base for my for my shadows um, I really do love this I do use this very rarely though like for underneath my eyes like an actual concealer um, this is also good to spot conceal so if you get like the exact same shade as your foundation this is really good to um, spot conceal I really do enjoy this um, this is a soft matte um, it's not too drying for me even though it's a soft matte, it's not too drying for me, which is why I like it. Um, there's other concealers that, oh my gosh, 
they are dry so i really do like this one again i usually usually um use it for my eyebrows and for setting like for uh base for eyeshadows okay another charlotte tilbury product i'm so sorry but i really do love these from her um this is the airbrush airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder i have the shade medium two and you guys can tell i love it i hit pan i i don't think i've ever hit pan on a product ever this is the first product that i've hit pan in and it's because i really do love it no i don't go ham in with my brush and just start jamming at it no i don't do that but i do use it quite often and for me to use up a powder like hello that's that's because it's a favorite because hello dry skin i hate powders but this powder literally gives you an airbrushed look to your skin to your foundation to everything so i really highly suggest that you guys pick this up i let's let me say in this foundation i am a shade golden beige and it's a really good match for me and i get i get away with the medium too it's not too dark and it's not too light her her numbering system when it comes to her powders and her foundations is all out of whack i can tell you that for sure it's all out of whack i don't know what i'm getting but if you are around my skin tone or lighter because even my mom can get away with number two um she is pretty light uh compared to me i'm a little bit more light medium i'm like a light medium range she's more like a just a, your typical light so she has gotten away with wearing this one so i do suggest you guys pick this one up it is beautiful powder it's a really beautiful finish it is just very beautiful this is like what you would wear if you're going to an event you're going to a birthday like you know like a that kind of birthday or you're going to a dinner you're going to a wedding a quinceanera an event just any event this is the kind that you want to look flawless this is honestly beautiful a bronzer that i love i have two bronzers but this one is hands down my favorite i have the mini size um so i don't feel like i need to get the big size personally um but this is beautiful and if you can get the 10 percent off on the mini why not right this is the hourglass radiant bronze light bronzer and it is just the best sun-kissed natural bronzer that you can possibly get it's not shimmery shimmery um it just gives you a nice glow as well it's like a j-lo glow that's how kind of like how i feel about it it's so like a nice glow i don't have it on today but this is honestly hands down my favorite go-to bronzer it's beautiful for cream bronzer though oh my god i picked this up recently and it's hands down right now one of my favorites this is the um tart uh cream uh bronzer in the seashells shade and i love it this is a mini one so if you don't want to get the big one you can get the mini one um but i really love it it's so creamy so beautifully blends out beautifully it's not like too hard to blend out and i really been loving it to cream contour with this one right now i really suggest you guys get this right here this is the laneige lip sleeping mask it is my favorite for twenty dollars and i have yet to get anywhere near the bottom of it i've had this for a while this is such a hydrating lip balm lip mask for your lips it is honestly i love to use it before you know going to bed and i also like to use this throughout the day because you know i do want to hydrate my lips i hate having dry crusty lips like that's like not cute at all so i do use this a lot and again i don't for 20 bucks and i haven't made a dent and i use it often i think that that's a good price range also again if you're using your uh 10 off 15 off whatever it is it's not bad so i'm going to close this off with scents two perfumes that i i am obsessed with I'm going to start off with my Tom Ford. This is the white patchouli. Um, this is just the 50 ml. This is 
Oh my god. Like this is rich baby smell. Mmm. This is just, I'm sorry, I just really love this smell. This is hands down like the top perfume that I have that I love. And, but I do use it sparingly because it is expensive. She is expensive, but it smells expensive. So, um, if you want to be trying it out during the sale, I do suggest you pick it up. This okay, but I really do highly suggest the smell. This one is really nice. I don't like fruity smells. I'm more of the floral, florally musky scents. Really love those. Um, more into the musk smell. I used to wear a Giorgio Armani Armani Code. That's immense. That's immense cologne. And guess what? I used to wear that because it smelled so amazing. I used to wear that in high school. Just saying, okay? Um, but it was my dad's. So I had to like literally sneak it in in the morning, you know, in the bathroom. And then leave before he smelled me, before he knew I sprayed his cologne. Because it's expensive, you know. I had to like run out. Sorry, dad. Go to the bus. Bye. But seriously, this does smell it just smells so beautiful. Go and try it. Go. Oh wait, you can't go. We can't go nowhere. Um, we can't go nowhere, guys, right now. So I'm sorry. I can't tell you guys to go and smell it. But um, I feel like if you buy it, you won't regret it. I believe there's a smaller size, or maybe there isn't. But I honestly don't think you would regret buying this one if you do, because it is such a beautiful smell, and I'm very particular with my smells, with my scents, scents. Okay, and this one, I have a little tiny little baby sample. This is the Lancome Idol, Idol, Idole, I don't know, I-D-O-L-E, Idol, I'm just going to call it Idol. Um, this is a tiny one. I found it in my stash, because, oh my God, I have, like, sample box or sample drawer, and I found it. And um, before this whole pandemic happened, the social distancing and stuff, being stuck at home, I went to Ulta with my mom and I smelled it and I was this close to buying it but I was like no let's wait for when they have that sale because they usually have like at Ulta they have like a five points of um, Lancome um, scents or they have the 20% off prestige um, any prestige items so I was like I'll wait for that sale because it is it is expensive but now that they have the sale at Sephora and I get 15% off I'm definitely picking up, uh, not the huge one. I think they have three sizes. I think I'm getting the small one because, come on, I have so many perfumes. Like, okay. But, guys, the smell, it's so good. I smelled it in store, so I knew I had to get it. Um, I've used it, as you guys can see. This is just such a good perfume. I highly suggest that you guys get it. It's so totally different compared to this one. It's, it's not even close. This one has like a musk to it, which is probably why I like it. And this one, you, you spray it on and you can go about your day. You won't smell it anymore. You think you don't smell it anymore. People walk by you, they smell it, and then you occasionally will get hit with it. So it's like, it's, it lingers. This one doesn't linger as much but it smells amazing though. It's, it's just beautiful. So I myself will be purchasing this, you know, perfume with the sale because it is really good. I really do like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my picks for the Sephora sale. I hope you guys get something or, you know, try out some of my products that I've been loving or not. Let me know what you are getting though for the VIB sale comment it down below um there are a few things that i'm gonna get um but i'll show you that once i order them and once i get them in um i'll show you guys a haul of that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if you're not <laughs> how rude like just a little rude but it's okay it happens it's life i ain't gonna be bummed about it but um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.